moral of the story, what I'm driving at is this, because you said it. I'm not counting on rookie parlays. The Terry on Arnold thing. I Am I crazy with this? And I'll go around the room and get everybody's take on it. I I think people are expecting too much of this is not a position. This is like the quarterback position of the defense. You don't just walk in unless you're mercurial. We've seen this probably, what, once in our lifetimes? Yeah. Where a guy walks in the door and from second one, play one, is dominant, like we saw with Sauce Gardner. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just, I don't think that the people have a realistic expectation of Terry and Arnold and what he's going to be this year. Am I, am I, you think I'm off base no, on this you're, or no? you're definitely not off base on that one. The, the, you know, a few years ago, the NFL changed the rules. To me, there's no such thing as a lockdown corner in the NFL anymore. You can be physical. You can get, you can get your victories here and there. You can get the it, lockdown you can be a ball stuff is done. Yeah. You can look good and, and do whatever, but I just don't see a rookie being the guy that we're going to be talking about in week 16, like, oh, my God, man, it's Terry Arnold is really good. Now, we might be saying, hey, you know, he's decent. He's solid. But we're not going to be saying, oh, Terry on, let me genuflect for you. That doesn't happen. That position is rough. Shout out Real Cream of Wheat. Hell, even Darrell Rivas took a couple of years. And, and like, I'm glad you're bringing reality to the table, Cream of Wheat, because no. everyone remembers the finished product. They don't remember what went into becoming mm -hmm. the finished product. And it's just one of it's one of those things. Uh, Ryan's reaction: You guys don't expect much from Arnold because Breakstraw is a starting quarter cornerback <laughs> in all capital. <laughs> Same story. You see what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. that's that's what it is.